Okay, so it's another day working on the 107. We have got the rear impact bar, so we'll get the bumper off and sort that out. Uh, the exhaust is blowing slightly, so I have a new exhaust, that was 58 pounds. In that box there is a new air, field, air filter and oil filter, and in that box there is some oil. There are other boxes, namely middle aisle shopping at Aldi of stuff I probably do need um, and also a replacement starter motor for the Corsa but you'll see that in a Corsa video so today I need to kind of smash all this work out because I'm not going to replace this rear bumper it's had work done it's got orange peel on it it's that's just glue um, but ultimately um, this is going to be a first car for somebody and Anybody who's got their first car, they're going to have little dings, they're going to have little scrapes, and it's just not financially worth it. I'll just drop a hundred quid off the sale price and say, look, the bumper, if you want to replace it, you can get one online for a hundred quid. Go ahead and do that. So without any further ado, let's get this rear bumper off. So, this is the bracket I need to get off to remove the exhaust from the centre section. The centre section isn't blowing, although it does look pretty crusty. Um, as you can see, the bracket at some point has sheared off here. And they've made a lovely makeshift, what is that, a coat hanger? Or just a bit of metal? But yeah, we've got a new bracket on the new exhaust anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we get new rubbers I think as well, but I'll double check the kit. So first thing to do is get that disconnected from there and then I will um, remove this contraption from there as well. Right, so bracket is now off. It was um, a little bit crusty so I had to go and buy an angle grinder and cut between it to get that off but that's now out of the way. So the last thing I've got to do is just get the old brackets off. straight back in I did shear off that nut when I fitted it when I took it off sorry as you can see that's all back on there is an impact in here um, I'm going to just tidy up this now strangely the impact on this was kind of like central because the old crash bar was kind of hit you remember now here so it went straight through there so I think that's from something else I think that's been like that for a while because there's rust always starting to show through on the metal but that literally sits behind the wheel arch so it doesn't go into the boot frame or anything like that the rest of it seems fairly straightforward it may be a little bit rippled but it doesn't affect the structure of it because it's just like a single skin so that lined up fine I'll get the wiring clicked onto it now and that goes for the uh, number plate lights on the bumper and now we're going to go back to the exhaust and see what we can do with that.
think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. It won't really bond to the centre section, so I'm going to have a look. Let's see if I can adjust that clamp tomorrow when it's had time to kind of pull the two together a bit. It's going to blow from there until I can get some paste or something around or maybe a bigger bracket. So I think we'll leave it like that. Put the wheel back on, put the bumper back on and call it a day on this. So I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, I was right. It didn't marry up properly down there. You can hear it blowing and it's because I can't get the old center pipe to house correctly into the new exhaust. So it's an aftermarket exhaust that I bought for it. You know, it's a cheap option, but they do sell. They do sell the center section. So I think what I'm gonna do, have a look, see how much they are. I think it was about 30 quid and that is literally two bolts from the bottom of the cat and then undo that clip again and that just drops out it's not mounted or held on by anything so we'll just uh, see if we can get one of those ordered and then it's probably going to be a few days for me but a matter of seconds for you we'll cut back to that arriving several days later Right, so not quite sure I got to with the last video I did on this it's been a week later um, we now have a new center section look how simple that is basically just a straight pipe with a sensor connector on it so i tried my best last time to get the old exhaust to marry up to the new one but it's still blowing because i can't get it to come home i think it's basically these are aftermarket exhausts but i think with the amount of corrosion on the original one it's just it won't go in so i'm going to undo these bolts i've already jacked the car up and then at the bottom of the cap down there, I don't know if you can see, but I've already doused it with a ton of WD-40. The same on the sensor, and then literally it's a case of undo two bolts from underneath, which have actually got springs on them, and that keeps the pressure on there. And there should also be, on the old exhaust, a bit of a gauze here, which is the gasket. I've also got some exhaust paste I'm gonna put in there and on the other end when we marry the two up, just so that they bond properly and don't leave any gaps, so let's get to that now. the old exhaust off the old hanger fairly crusty a lot of these apparently snap off so now I tried to take it off while it was on the car to give me some more purpose on it we've got to get that sensor out so let me work on that off camera and I'll cut back when we've got it onto the new exhaust there we go so that's the uh, sensor out of the old one in the end I did the same thing I did on the Corsa uh, which you might not have seen that video yet or possibly have um, I cut a little slit on the old one here just to release the pressure and it undid straight away I've put some assembly paste on there where the sit marries up to the gasket um, so now it's just a case of get this under the car get it onto that center hanger and then bolt it up at the front and clamp it up at the back so uh, let's get on with that all right so that's the center hanger on what I actually do is put a piece of wood underneath the exhaust to raise it up so I can get both hands on it and just pull that through. Now I need to move on to the back bit. So otherwise it's going to wobble around like crazy. And now while I've got it in this state, it's actually a lot easier to move. So let's get that caked up in some exhaust paste and bolt it up. Uh, exhaust clamp is now on. And the reason why it's daylight is because I bought a different exhaust clamp. The one that came with it. Sorry, what's the car going on? Yeah, the one that came with it was just too narrow, so I bought a bigger clamp. That has really got it tight. I fired it up and it's got the slightest of blow to it. So I've just packed it around the edge just with a bit of exhaust seal there. But other than that, that's all done. Uh, front two bolts were dead simple. It was just a case of lifting it into place, putting the bolts in with the springs and just tightening them up. So that's it. Let's get the wheel back on and get it lowered down. Right, so next step is we're gonna clean the interior. 
You in charge of that? Yeah. Remember what you're going to do? Yeah. What, what are you going to do? What have you got in your hand? Um, silver. Right, do you not think you need to switch it on first? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to tackle the interior. George is going to use his excellent cleaning skills to sort out all the dirt that we've got in here. You, it on you can turn it on if you want to, yeah? Yeah, we're going to get all this dirt out of here, kind of make the interior nice and presentable. So we'll cut back in a second when George has finished doing an amazing job. I to say that that's come up a lot better. George, bless him, did a load of work. I tended to stick to the back just in case there was any glass. Didn't want George to get near it, but I've hoovered out all the floor, shampooed all the seats. Still got the plastics and bits to do, but just get this seat back. And a few little bits down the centre, but I'm just working on this area. So I've done the pedals, done the floor bit there. I'm just going to sort out some of the stains, let that soak in some cleaner, agitate it to get the dirt out of the carpet. I'll just do this in little corners areas as well, so like anyway, little bits down there. So it's a bit brown. You generally give it a good spruce up. But yeah, let's get this sorted out. And then it's just the mats to be hoovered up. Right, so back on to the exhaust. I had bolted it up from underneath, but looking through, it's on a bit of a wonk. So I think the easiest thing to do, we're gonna do a service on it in a minute, is get the front bumper off, and uh, then I can get a better look at it. So let's start from there.
So I think that's going to bring us to the end of the latest video. However, don't run away just yet. I want to show you some stuff. So we were going to do the wash on the outside of the car. Um, however, George wasn't able to help me and he got a bit upset when I said I was going to wash the red car and he couldn't help do it. So I don't want him to feel bad. So we're going to hold off. We will um, do the wash in the next episode. Now, I said this is going to be like a one or a two part episode, but we're going to squeeze a third one in because I've bought some stuff which I think is going to make this car a lot more popular for the person that's going to buy it. And I'm going to share that with you now. So we have in this little box here some new number plate bulbs. So these are LED number plate bulbs for the rear. I think they'll just give it a nicer finish at night. It'll give a nice white light to it. So that was a fairly cheap mod. I think I'll, I'll check the pricing, but I think that was about six pounds for those. So that's our first little experiment to uh, to upgrade with from AliExpress. And then the next one, and this is the one that I think will be the bit of a game changer, involves this part here. So what I've done is I have bought a touchscreen sat nav car system with Apple CarPlay. It comes with all the, the trim tools, although they might be a bit cheap. They usually are a bit cheap. So in there, we've got a very nice is it a 10 inch touchscreen, I think, if I remember correctly. I'm sure it was a 10 inch, 10.1 inch touchscreen. We have the cowling. So in the next episode, we're going to take off all of this, this old style radio that has to come out. And then that unit there will sit over the top of where the current one is. And then the touchscreen will sit into there. On top of that, I've bought a DAB antenna. So we're going to fit the DAB antenna up here, run all the wiring down to the back of the new controller. We've got a rear view camera. So this car doesn't have parking sensors. Um, and I just thought, well, you know, you're, if you're a new driver, any little aid like a reversing camera or parking sensors is going to help you kind of prolong the life of the car and not cause any extra damage. So we've got the rear view camera to install as well. DAB antenna. And there we have our GPS antenna which will all fit so in the next episode we're going to take all of this off we're going to fit the new touch screen it's got apple carplay it's got um android auto uh what else do we get in here let me give you a quick unboxing i'm fairly certain in the wiring harness as well it comes with uh bear with a second got one hand free so there we go yeah right so that's the screen and that sits into there like that. And then that will sit up there. How much better will that be? I mean, if you're a young driver, you're going to want the creature comforts of Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're going to want to be able to plug your, um, your phone into it to charge. So it comes with the USB connector as well. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll get that in the next episode. And then the final bit we'll do in that episode with George's help is we'll give it a wash because that will be it then it's fully complete. Just got to wait for the paperwork to come through the V5. And when that arrives, yeah, we're, we're done. So again, thank you very much for watching this episode. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, if you're not, please take a second, give it a subscribe. That massively helps me out. If you've got people that you know that you think might be interested in it, please share it on social media and Without anything else to say, hope everyone's having a great time. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.